Meet Brian Ahern, a notable actor of his time. He's remembered for his roles in classic films. Ever wondered about lesser known facts or anecdotes about him? Maybe you have a cherished memory linked to his work? Share it with us in the comments below. And stay tuned as we've got plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching this video for more. In the realm of classic cinema, there's a treasure trove of timeless performances waiting to be discovered. One notable actor stands out for his diverse roles across several memorable films. From historical dramas to comedic gems, he's left an indelible mark on the silver screen. One standout movie that newcomers shouldn't miss is a historical drama where he portrays Napoleon Roman III. Another offers a comedic touch, with his memorable performance adding charm to the genre. And there's also a political drama where he shines in a pivotal role. Fans of classic films would also enjoy another title, where he stars in a romantic comedy, showcasing his versatility as an actor. These films provide a glimpse into his talent and range, making them essential viewing for cinema enthusiasts. Living in the Hollywood hilltop neighborhood of North Crescent Heights, he resided in a sprawling colonial mansion during his marriage to Joan Fontaine. The mansion boasted a grand foyer, a spacious living area, a library, and a dining room. The property also included a swimming pool, garages, and servant quarters. Among his neighbors were renowned figures like Lionel and Ethel Barrymore, Victor Mature, Gloria Swanson, and Veronica Lake. In the film, The Best of Everything, he portrayed Fred Shalimar. Ronan Jaff, in the DVD commentary, remarked on the contrast between Ahern's attractiveness and the unattractive behavior of bosses in the storyline. Despite his career achievements, he never acted in a film nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. In the world of entertainment, there's a story of a man whose journey was marked not only by his talent on screen, but also by the bonds he held dear. He had a stepdaughter, Leonie Labrut Gately, who was a mother to five sons. His versatility in acting shone through in the film The Song of Songs, where he took on a role originally meant for another actor. Besides his career, he shared a deep connection with his brother, Patrick Ahern, rooted in their shared experiences and family ties. Their relationship added another layer of depth to his life story. Throughout his career, he made a significant impact, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and those close to him. His performances and the lives he touched continue to resonate, keeping his memory alive in the realm of cinema. In March of 1944, a distinguished actor found himself in an unexpected role, a guest spot on a popular radio show. It was a departure from his usual performances, yet he embraced the opportunity with charm and wit. The storyline of the episode was amusingly risque, with one of the characters somehow acquiring his boxer shorts and concocting a plan to auction them off. Despite the censorship rules of the time, the show managed to navigate the potentially scandalous plotline with finesse, leaving audiences in stitches with their clever antics. But his journey into the world of acting had begun long before this memorable guest appearance. His passion for the craft ignited at an early age as he honed his skills in London. Remarkably, his stage debut occurred when he was just nine years old, captivating audiences with his talent. It was a sign of things to come, as he would go on to become a distinguished figure in both theater and film, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Beyond his performances, he also delved into writing, showcasing his versatility as an artist. One notable work stands out a biography chronicling the life of his close friend. Titled A Dreadful Man, the book offered a compelling glimpse into the intertwined lives of two extraordinary individuals, shedding light on their triumphs, struggles, and the complexities of their friendship. In retrospect, his foray into the world of radio was just one small chapter in a rich series of experiences that defined his illustrious career. From his humble beginnings on the stage to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, his journey was a testament to his talent, perseverance, and lasting impact on entertainment history. In 1980, a star was placed on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, honoring someone who made a significant mark in entertainment history. Starting as a child actor, this person briefly explored architecture before returning to the stage in 1923. On stage, he truly thrived, captivating audiences with his talent and charisma. His performances were memorable, drawing viewers into the worlds he portrayed with each character. One of the highlights of his career was collaborating with the legendary Rosalind Russell. Together, they starred in four unforgettable films, their on-screen chemistry adding magic to each scene they shared. Throughout his career, he left a lasting impact on the entertainment landscape. His work continues to inspire and entertain, reminding us of the timeless allure of his talent and the enduring power of storytelling. In 1980, the year of his Hollywood Walk of Fame induction, his star shone brighter than ever, 
a fitting tribute to his excellence in entertainment. Renowned for portraying King Arthur in two separate films, he demonstrated his acting talent in Prince Valiant in 1954 and Sword of Lancelot in 1963. During World War II, he traveled to entertain troops stationed in various European countries. One notable moment in his life occurred when he allowed Columbia Pictures to utilize his property for the premiere of Pepe in 1960, which resulted in the construction of a grand patio overlooking Hollywood. However, following his divorce from Joan Fontaine, the property deteriorated and eventually became a hangout for Sunset Strip hippies. By the late 1960s, the mansion was demolished, marking the end of an era. In the film, I confess, he played Willie Robertson. When the movie was dubbed in Italian, his character was voiced by Emilio Sigoli. Other actors in the film had their voices dubbed by various Italian actors Montgomery Clift by Giulio Panicali, Ann Baxter by Dihia Cristiani, Carl Malden by Giorgio Capecai, Roger Dan by Nino Pavese, Charles Andre by Sandro Ruffini, Judson Pratt by Carlo Romano, and Gilles Pelletier by Gianfranco Bellini. During the 1957-58 season, he took on the role of Professor Henry Higgins in the first roadshow Chicago Company of My Fair Lady, Sally Ann House portrayed Liza Doolittle opposite him throughout the entire first year roadshow My Fair Lady Chicago engagement. Bill Hargate served as his personal wardrobe dresser during the show's run. He was also the brother-in-law of Broadway producer Alfred D. Liger Jr. Born and raised in England, this individual from Birmingham possessed a multifaceted character extending beyond the glitz of showbiz. His interest transcended the silver screen, delving into the boundless skies, where he indulged his adventurous spirit by piloting his own aircraft. Throughout his career, he captivated audiences with his sincere and profound performances, whether on stage or in front of the camera. His roles varied from the suave leading man to characters grappling with moral complexities, all infused with his unique charm. Amidst his successes, he encountered personal hardships, yet he persevered with resilience and grace. Despite facing setbacks, he never wavered in pursuing his dreams. Even after his passing in 1986, his influence endures through the timeless performances and memories he left behind. His tale speaks of passion, determination, and the pursuit of dreams, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood history. Interconnected through marriage with Olivia de Havilland and Renee Houston, he shared familial bonds with these notable figures. These relationships not only shaped his personal life, but also influenced his career in the entertainment industry. They provided him with a deeper understanding of Hollywood's social and professional networks. These family ties enriched his experiences, giving him a unique perspective on life and work in the spotlight. In his later years, a renowned figure faced a profound tragedy. After enjoying success in Hollywood and on Broadway, he experienced the loss of his wife due to cancer. Her passing left a deep void in his life, overshadowing his days and altering his existence. Despite being engulfed in sorrow, he found solace in his work, dedicating himself to his craft with renewed passion. However, the absence of his beloved lingered as a constant ache in his heart. As time passed, memories of her laughter and warmth haunted him, serving as bittersweet reminders of their past. He navigated through life with a heavy heart, seeking refuge in his art. Each performance became a tribute to their love, a homage to a partnership that was more than just on screen. Yet, beneath his professional exterior, he grappled with profound loss, struggling to reconcile memories with reality. Despite the weight of grief, he continued to grace stages and screens with his presence, his talent undiminished. Yet, those who knew him well noticed a subtle change in his demeanor, a quiet sadness that colored his interactions. The loss had left a deep wound on his soul, one that time could not fully heal. And so, he carried on, a symbol of resilience in the face of heartache, his story intertwined with the memory of the woman he loved deeply. Their tale endures as a reminder of love and loss in Hollywood history, a poignant reflection of life's fragility and the strength of the human spirit. Though their time together was cut short, the impact they had on each other's lives continues to resonate, a testament to the enduring power of love. In an unexpected turn of events, Brian Ahern's life was shaped by a heartbreaking incident from his childhood that few knew about. When he was young, he accidentally caused the death of his older brother while they were playing with a gun. This deeply affected him and influenced his choices as he grew up. Despite finding success in acting, this tragic event always weighed heavily on his mind. Ahern became well known for his acting skills, both on stage and in movies. His performances were powerful and drew people in, earning him praise and recognition. However, he struggled internally with his past and the pressures of his career. Throughout his time in the spotlight, 
Ahern took on a variety of roles, showcasing his talent and versatility. He played everything from charming heroes to complicated villains, bringing authenticity to each character he portrayed. Despite his fame, he remained humble and focused on his craft. Despite his personal struggles, Ahern continued to pursue acting, leaving behind a lasting impact on the entertainment world. His work is still appreciated by audiences around the globe today. In the end, Brian Ahern's story reminds us of how life can be a mix of highs and lows shaping the paths we take. Amidst the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world, one individual's journey stands out, marked by both triumphs and struggles. He skillfully commanded attention on stage and screen, captivating audiences with his performances. However, behind the scenes, he grappled with personal demons, battling the relentless grip of alcoholism. Despite outward success, his inner turmoil remained a constant companion, overshadowing his achievements. Despite the darkness clouding his personal life, his talent illuminated the screen, breathing life into characters that resonated deeply with audiences. Yet, beneath the facade of his on-screen personas, he wrestled with insecurities and vices. In the end, his story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of the human experience. His legacy endures both as an actor and as a flawed individual, reminding us that even the most gifted among us are not immune to life's challenges.